Hey, 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 it's your boy Hood. Check it out. I was checking out this here series um, titled uh, Unprisoned. Unprisoned. And it's about the lady, uh, Carrie Washington, and this other guy who I can't name right now. And he's her father. And, and it's a white lady who had raised her. And she was playing a part as a mother, right? So her father, he kept going back and forth to jail and things like that. And her mother, she was raising her, but she was doing some other stuff, I guess, right? So now when Carrie Washington got older, got to be an adult. Now her father got out of prison. And, and now the father and the mother are, are, are constantly trying to prove themselves to her. Watch this. Because Kerry Washington in the movie is dealing with trust issues. So now they got to continue to prove themselves to her. Watch, watch this. I'm going somewhere with this now. I'm going somewhere. And I was thinking about life and how life is and how people are. And I'm like, man, this is just like life. You got people who will actually put their put put some issues on you, unbeknown to you, that ain't got nothing to do with you, and use you and make you the issue, all because they have not dealt with the mess that's in them. They have not dealt with the issues that's in them. This is what so many people do now. People do not deal with self-accountability. And as a result, they will use other folk. They will use other folk and they will just, just come up with an imaginary issue to pounce on somebody else because they don't want to deal with what's going on with them. So they'll put it on you. They'll put it on other folk. There are a lot of you all out there right now who are on either side of this corner that I'm talking about. I'm hoping this will help somebody. There are people who have placed their foolishness, placed their inadequacies of not dealing with their own mess in their life because their lives are jacked up. They will find an issue and place it on you and make you the issue so they won't have to focus on their own issues. And if you're a weak person, this stuff will have you angry, bothered, sad, crying. Some of y'all want to commit suicide. All this old foolishness. You give these people power over your life because they don't have power over their own lives to get themselves right. So they're going to use your life and you give it to them because when you have people to just all of a sudden out of the blue, just have you angry or upset and crying and your blood pressure done got high, you can't eat and you go to bed, you thinking about them and, and all they mess and all the mess they done put on you because now you, because now you have become their, their problem because they're covering up from actually dealing with their own problem, they done made you the problem so they won't have to deal with that. And you done fell for a hook, line, and sinker, and now you all, all upset and crying, and now you got anxiety, and you can't sleep, and now you got a migraine, headache, your stomach hurt, you can't eat, and for you women, all your hair falling out, and all this old craze, all because of somebody refuse to do self-accountability and do like Michael Jackson said in his song, Person in the Mirror. You, don't let people do you like that. The hell with them folks. Don't let them do you like that. And on the other side of this hill coin, many of y'all are out there you all are using people because you don't want to deal with your own mess because you are a coward. You, 
your life is jacked up and you don't want to face responsibility that you jack your life up. So now you're going to find somebody to put an issue on them and make them become your, your issue because you have jacked your own life up and you don't want to deal with it so that you can get your life right. You're wicked. You're evil. I'm telling you, you people who are letting folks do this to you, don't, don't let people do that to you. And many of y'all got grown kids, grown adult kids who would take them grandbabies and use them and use them as a puppet on a string for you. And how you dingling on the string. Don't do it for them, preach. Don't do it. How you dingling on the string. And you fall for it. Now you upset because you can't see the grandbaby cause cause that person done made you the issue and they using the grandbaby to hold uh, against you and now you worry, you going through this. Look, 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 you going to have to get her the hell with it, uh, anointing, and say, hey, look here, the hell with it. If I don't see that child until that child get older, then let it be. Some of y'all need to really confront for because, because a lot of y'all, y'all won't even confront these people. You will confront other folk because somebody them made you their problem. Now you will confront somebody else and make them your problem. Versus you confronting that person and say, look here, I'm not your problem. Some of y'all need to go to these people face to face and stop going around them and talking to other people and telling other people what you should have told them and tell them, oh, I don't look, look here. If I never see you again, it'll be too soon. I don't care what you're going through. You ain't finna put it off on me. And some of you grown disrespectful kids are so disrespectful to your parents till it's ridiculous. And you don't put that mess off on your parents because you wicked and you are coward. But parents, let me tell you something. What you need to tell your grown adult child, your grown coward uh, adult child, you need to tell them, if I don't see that grandbaby no more, it's fine with me. You're not going to use me as no mat for you to stay in your mess and make me your mess. Not going to do it. Today is the last. The, the, hey, y'all felt it. Today is the last day for that mess. I'm making a memorial for this foolishness here. This stuff is dead in my life. You will not. You will not use me as your stumbling block for you to get yourself right. The devil is a lie. If I never hear from you again in life, it'll be too soon. And when you do come back to me, if you ever do, you're going to have to, you are going to have to apologize from the heart and repent or stay away from me. You will not disrespect me. Some of y'all need to check some of your buddies. Man, listen, I ain't your problem. Girl, listen, I ain't your problem. How folks will use you. Look, life is too short and too precious. Life is precious and short, not short, short. And you can't be giving your life to people like that for folks to just mess over you. Because they don't want to deal with their own life. You don't have to deal with that. You better man up and woman up and tell them the hell with what you talking about. I don't care if I never see you again. Some of y'all got spouses like that. The hell what you talking about? Bye. Folks will use you. Folks will, you better, look, look here. I don't deal with the motivational speakers too much. But I be hearing them say, if you're not passionate about your vision and your purpose, then why you think anybody else will be? 
That's truth. And that go for life. I'm not finna spend my time worrying about your life more than you. That's your life. If you don't care about your own life, I don't care about it either. Y'all better stop allowing these people to play you like a puppet on a string. Put the puppet on a string up there, preach. Stop having them people to play you like a puppet on a string. And get you some balls. Gun up. You don't have to. You don't have to accept that in your life. And you people who are treating people like that. You are coward. And you need to stay in your mess. Watch this. Here, and I'm done. Like I always say. As far as tests go. You will never fail a test. In life. A life test. Now you may fail a test in school, but a test in life, you will never, ever fail it. You'll either pass it or you'll die in it. If you don't pass it, you have the same issue for the rest of your life until you check out of here. It may be with a different person, same issue, same test. It may be with a different place, same test. It may be with a different object, anything, same test. Until you pass it, it'll be with you for the rest. Be done, boy, be done. Hope they got it of your life. Don't let folks treat you like that. This your boy hood, because I hope you get unprisoned. That's the name of the movie. That's the name of the series, unprisoned I hope you realize that you don't have to deal with that and you can move on and be free I want you to be unprisoned unprisoned from the hands of wicked evil soft weak people who don't want to stand up and accept self accountability for their own life but want to put their issues on you. Be unprisoned and be free. In Jesus' name. This your boyhood. Unprisoned. <laughs> I'm out. Peace.